Well, their dads were involved in the most fierce rivalry in the history of British boxing and nearly 30 years on, their sons are set to do battle. A fantasy fight that's become a reality out of the blue. Chris Eubank Jr. against Conor Ben. Um, full disclosure for people watching at home, we're recording this before we know for sure that this fight has been signed. So there are a few details that we are yet to discover that the people watching this will already know. One is what catch rate this yeah. fight takes place at. Is it fair to say that every pound under 158 benefits Ben and every pound over benefits Chris Eubank Jr? 100%. Yeah, the, the weight is crucial in this contest and uh, I think that may be the, the stumbling block mm. that they're working out right now. But it's... It's a, like you said there, it's a fantasy fight. It's a fight that I can't wait to watch. I'm so can excited you, about it. Can yeah. you imagine the atmosphere just before they do their ring walk? I mean, it's going to be epic. Well, I can remember, I was a fan at uh, Conor Ben's debut. It was AJ versus Charles Martin. And I remember hearing the, the gong of, of his, what was his dad's old music and seeing him come out and thinking, isn't it a shame he's just a little bit too small to face Eubank <laughs> yeah. Jr. Because what a rivalry that would be. But the way that Ben has improved, some of the sparring stories we're hearing, of course he's sparring much heavier than 147. Eubank back down at 160. And some, I guess, limited options for, for both guys. This is the only time in, in their careers that this fight could be made. It's brilliant that they are on the cusp of making it. I, I, I think it's perfect timing for both. Mm. Um, absolutely. It's just that weight that is the only issue. But for me... If we talk about it technically, yeah. I, I certainly think Conor Ben is the better boxer out of the two. I think the way he's improved since those early days, and even if you, you know, we're going to reference the, 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 the hard fight that he had with Cedric Pano, mm. how much he's improved under Tony Sims since then is incredible. Uh, there's fault in his work. You know, he's always setting traps. He's always trying to find those openings. Whereas, don't get me wrong, on the flip side, Chris Eubanks Jr. has improved an awful lot under Roy Jones. What we're seeing is something we never see in all his previous fights, other than I think the Williams fight perhaps before, is he's actually starting to throw the jab now. Yeah, yeah. He knocks Williams down with a jab. Um, and I think that shot is crucial for Chris Eubank in this fight because we know Conor Ben, he loves to throw the jab to the body, always piercing that jab into the body, looking for the reaction. There's a shot that they work on quite a lot in the Tony Sims gym. It's called the Le Roberto Duran. And it's the jab to the body, get the reaction. Get that parry and then and come And then fry up with the right well, hand. What we saw it with Cordina and uh, Kenichi Gawa, didn't we? Exactly the shot, exactly that. And one thing I've noticed with Chris Eubank, even more so now, we talked about it just off air here, how he's adopting he's that, that sort of, of slightly, slightly weird <laughs> rhythm and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, what that does is though, he's got a low lead hand, mm, mm. low lead hand. So if you are going to work that Duran shot, which I'm sure uh, Connor will, that jab to the body, you'll get the reaction. The hand's going to stay low. You come firing back with the right hand. So that's straight away a shot I think that Connor will look for in this contest. For me, Chris Eubank, yes, we don't know the weight yet, but he is going to be the, the, the bigger I wouldn't necessarily say the more physically stronger because he, he's a beast, Connor Ben, but he needs to somehow try and get that strength into the contest, that size into the contest. But of course, if he's, if he's pulled down to a weight where he's uncomfortable at 33 years exactly. of age, he doesn't know how he's going to respond if it's 157, 156, whatever it is, which you'll now know, of course. And of course, we don't know what the rehydration limit will be. As the fight wears on, we know Ben can set a high pace. You, you know without a doubt he's going to target that body early because I guess the, the, the height, it makes sense for that to be the area that he aims for. As the fight wears on, if it goes into the second half of the fight, the question will be over, over Eubank's head is, how does his engine hold up? How does he respond under these new conditions? He finishes strong, doesn't he, Chris yep. Eubank? And I wouldn't necessarily say he's a slow starter, but in a lot of fights against George Groves uh, and a couple of others, he starts, he lets his opponent... He takes breaks, doesn't he? He takes breaks. There's, you know, there's few and far between the work that he does. Um, and I just feel he may, in this contest, may even leave it a little later to see how that engine holds up. I don't think he can afford to do that against Conor Ben, who's busy. He's always looking to let his hands go. He, he's sort of fearless about what's coming back. Mm. He just wants to let his hands go. So what that enables him to do is win rounds because he's so busy. Mm. So if you're Chris Eubank and there is that little niggle where you're worried about, about the weight, then before you know it, you're in the 10, 11 rounds and you're thinking, oh, hold on, I'm playing catch-up. So it's a, it's a really interesting fight that 
I can see ways for both winning and losing this. And in terms of the hype, I mean, it's, it's arguably going to end up being the, the biggest fight in the country this year by the time it comes around. The hype, the dad's involved as well. You can't forget the generational influence that their rivalry had on uh, our dad's generation of, of fight fans, let alone us. And, and for that to then carry down with these two, their audiences as well, this is going to be enormous, isn't it? This isn't just a boxing fans fight. This is a sports fan. It's a trend, fight. It's a trend, this, yeah. this is a crossover. Yeah. Exactly. People who are uh, sports fans are going to see the news. They're going to remember that the dad's fighting. They're going to tune in. This mm. is going to be an event. Certainly is. Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. do battle 30 years after their fathers last met in the early 90s. Who will come out on top and settle the Eubank Ben rivalry once and for all?